Hello, welcome to Inox Engineering, I'm Alan. Today I'm looking at a two inch boring head which just arrived from Banggood. So we'll open this up, have a look at what's in the kit. Well that's the, the kit, the boring head. Now let me just say that I get these from Banggood uh, free in exchange that I do a review on them. I'm not pressurised into say it's good if it's rubbish. So my review is just my personal opinion on the parts. This is the boring head kit. You get nine boring bore. They all have the same tip on the end or the same brazed tip. The difference between them is the length of the shank and the thickness. So if you're using the short one it's thinner. If you're using the longer one it's a thicker shank. But today I'll use the short one because I only need to go 15mm deep into the aluminium. The boring head comes in the plastic box. You get nine boring tools with this kit. An arbor, this is an R8 arbor, and the head. The arbor just screws on, so you can change the arbor. You can buy the arbors separate and the boring head separate and the tool separate so if you needed a different arbor it would probably be best to buy the kit separate um, I don't know why they don't do the kit with three different arbors so you could choose a kit that suits you you can buy the arbors they come like this this is another R8 arbor exactly the same as what's in the kit yeah. it says here R8, one and a half inch, 18 UNF, which is this end, and the other end is 716, 20 UNF, which is your drawbar end. The kit comes with three Allen keys. The keys are to adjust grub screws to, to tighten up the, the slide. For these grub screws, which hold the tool, and for the adjusting the cut, by turning the screw here. I think they've done some value engineering on this because traditionally you would have had a gib strip in here, these three screws would have tightened up onto the gib strip and locked the head. So what they've done on here is they put a and C, they've cut a slot down the side so the grub screws push against this black part here and this pushes over to lock the head. So each division is 0.01. The thread in the bottom is one and a half inch 18 UNF. You have a crossbore there where you can put the, the cutting tool in and you have two positions on the top to fit the, the boring tools. Now looking at the finish, the ground finish is, is good all the bores are ground the dovetails are ground now if you look closely at the dial here one complete turn of this dial is half a millimetre and that's divided into 0.01 each division's 0.01 which is a lot finer than you get on your lathe so this is a very fine thread compared to that so you can machine the bore a lot more accurately so you can buy the head separate you can buy the tool separate and you can buy the arbor separate but if you buy this kit you get the R8 what I need to do now is bore the bearing bores on the rotary head plate. So let's take this over to the milling machine, set the machine up and the boring head and see how it performs. So the first thing I want to do is I'm 
taking this board which I used on my pedestal drill with my compound table so I've drilled a hole in it so it fits over the T-bolt this board it has a piece of wood each side on the bottom the wood on this side overlaps the board so I can put the board on the chain push it up against the edge of the table so I know that this face is parallel with the table this is the aluminium I need to machine and this is the hole I need to bore out for the bearing I can put this onto the table push it up against the edge and I know that this is square then to the table but before I do that I need to machine along this front and back it along there to give me the 90 degree position so I know this board is suitable to use on the milling machine. At the moment it's made to fit a different compound slide so I'll machine that. For this job it doesn't need to be square because I'm picking up on the hole but I'll, while I've got it on I will machine it so I know that when I come to do another job the edges are square to the table. corner I've got in with the cutter so the corner's taken out so there's no chance of it snagging on this edge and it's machined the wood on both on both sides I'll just use the centre to line that up so I'm not sure how accurate that will be so what I will do is just double check it by putting a dowel in the chuck you can see that goes straight in there so I'm happy with that, so what I will do now is lock the two axes on the table, X and Y. First Allen key, slacken off the side there. And the second one will put the cut on. So I'm turning this clockwise and it's pushing the tool out. See at the moment the tool is in this position, which is in the centre centre one. So I need to move the tool into the outer one and screw this back across so that I can pick up the bore again. I've just used the tool to score around there to see what size it will go to. Here's the bearing. You can see I'll line the bearing up. It will go a lot bigger than the bearing is. So we should be able to do that. What I've done with the tool, I've come down on top of the plate, zeroed my depth gauge, gone down 12mm and set the stop at 12mm. Now I've not used this automatic stop on here before so I don't know how accurate it is so we'll see.
that that bearing just drops onto the lead and then when I tap it in I know it's square. Well, I'm impressed with the accuracy you can get. The only thing I've got to do now is tidy the face up. I fitted the bearing, it's fitted nicely into the bore. So that one's done. So I have to do the same thing all over again on the other plate. I've used my centre to find the centre of the hole. I've moved the table so it lines up and that goes straight into the centre and I've locked my table up. The part's locked up so that's ready for drilling and boring. Well that's a two inch boring head. I'm very impressed with the accuracy you can get. The kit comes complete with an R8 arbor and a nine piece carbide cutter set. And when cutting the aluminium the finish was really good. The only downside would be if you're like me cutting down to a shoulder because the tool tips are pointed, as you cut down to a shoulder, you tend to get a series of grooves. So you could do with a tool that just is a flat bottom and you can just run it around the bottom of the shoulder to finish it off. So the last job on this plate, I fitted the bearing. I've moved it now so that I'm drilling a hole here to fit the cable adapter that we made. This needs a hole diameter of 10 mil. First job is to drill the position, center drill. This is the, the plate that we've just finished in the hole. Now I can take my cables, thread them through here, and on this side, that one, we'll just put the spring washer on. job is to put the socket on ready for the stepper motor. Well that's it for today. Hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time on Enots Engineering.